T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm going to be reviewing Marvel Legends Series Deadpool Wave Sasquatch build figure Wave. X-Force Deadpool, which they're just calling Deadpool. And Classics Deadpool, or Classic Deadpool, I, I guess that's what they're going for there. Now I was going to do two separate reviews, but I want to get this over with. So this is going to be a chill comparison review between all three of the ones that I own right now. This is the most reused from the X-Men Juggernaut wave right there. Only thing different is the forearms are different. This is more regular Bucky Cap. And they added these little armbands right there. The weapon holster or the sword holsters is the exact same. The swords are the exact same. One thing different is both of these on mine are going the same direction. Somebody mentioned that in one in my review that I don't think mine is supposed to be like that. So I have a rare variant. Whereas this one is going differently. The leg mounted gun holster is the exact same except on the X-Force one. They actually added in some sheeting and whatnot, which I can't see, but trust me, it's there in this shading right here on his X-Men belt, which is different from his regular Deadpool belt right there. And it doesn't have its own separate gun holster right there, so he only has one gun. The lower legs are different, and the feet are different right there. And he has these added bands right there. So, other than that, same articulation and different paint. Head sculpts are identical from what I can tell. Except one is this powder blue gray color. So, same thing. I still prefer this guy out of all three of these. I prefer this X-Men Juggernaut Wave Deadpool. Because he's I just like the fact that he can have both guns holstered on and both swords. And he came with a rack of weapons. So if I could only have one Deadpool, I would want that one. Now this one I like the bright red that he has. And I like that it's using the Spider-Man 2099 body, so he does get the butterfly joint right there, which can go all the way back and which can be cool for a sword wielding character. I like that they gave him new pouches and whatnot. And he has a ton of pouches, but he has no gun holster on there because he doesn't come with any guns. That's disappointing. This figure does not come with a builder figure piece. And they didn't give him any other weapons besides these two swords. Which, well, let me pull one of these out. Is significantly smaller right there. So, I do like that this sword seems more broad. Because in the hand, these little skinny swords seem a little bit weird. And a lot of people wanted the sword holsters or sheaths to be like this like where they cross over I guess that's what people were used to they didn't like this design it doesn't matter to me I do like the little Deadpool logo on the belt I like the belt period so that's cool one thing's weird to me and I don't know if this is accurate to the old original comics he doesn't have the Deadpool drip on the back of his head it's just smooth but he does have a different face and a different expression where he looks way more angry. If I have any complaints with this regular red classic Deadpool, it's this red right here, all on the body, is darker. It's way darker in person when you take him out of the box and look at him. It's darker than this red, the arms, the head, or the lower legs. That's very bright. And this one had this same neck choker right there it had it on him but when i was trying to get like a dynamic pose like this it sheared it right off so yeah you probably didn't even notice it was gone until i mentioned it so no don't lie and said you did notice you didn't notice so uh, it doesn't bother me if it does start bothering me i threw it back in the box which has this sticker on there i don't know if y'all watch my toy hunts but this was on clearance for 
for $14.84 for some reason. I don't know why. But to show this off because I didn't. They gave him what looks to be a toy gun because it has the orange cap on it. I don't know why. I guess Hasbro is just trying to be different with these releases or some of the releases figuring what can they do to make Deadpool more comedic and how can they be child friendly as far as the weapons even though as you can see on this one they gave him silver guns so here he is with the gun I'm not even gonna go over the articulation y'all see it complaints I have with this one is this grayish blue paint is kind of splotchy I don't know if I mentioned that in my x23 review but some it's in certain places they have paint missing so I don't know mainly on him is just that spot but he seems to be okay everywhere else and this Deadpool also does come with this gun too which also looks like a child gun now you could say that Deadpool is just a jokester or whatnot he has these guns that look fake and then you wind up getting shot by them so <laughs> that could show his crazy demented personality this hand does not have a trigger finger so you have to slice that yourself with a razor or something these might be the same hands that came with the Punisher I'm not I'm not sure I forgot to show it off here's the artwork right there and as you can see, he does have the, the leg armor that this one has right here. So, I don't know, maybe they changed things up at the last minute. And he does have, it looks like, no, that's his regular belt. So, that looks like this Deadpool just painted gray. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Here are the product shots that I didn't show off. This one says, so you need someone to do the dirty work? Great news. That's his favorite kind of work. And this one says, strong, sassy, looks amazing in spandex. You could say he's the total package, which he, he's not. He barely comes with anything. And the today, I really like this classic red seat Deadpool right there. I just wish he came with more weapons. That would have made him more interesting. And I would I, I would think that would make him more worth his $20 price point. But I'm happy I didn't pay that, luckily. This one, since he resembles him so much, just with less armor and with less equipment, that makes me a little bit more bored with him. I do like that they painted his, his accessories and gave him this X-Men belt. That's cool. And I like this pose that I just made with him. But eh, this is probably the one I could have did without, to be honest. I know a lot of people love X-Force and they want a whole X-Force team and they're happy that they can get this one since they could get that exclusive but I don't really care especially since I already own that one but I needed to get Sasquatch so that's how they get you because they knew if they would have put him as a separate one people probably wouldn't have bought that anywho thank y'all for watching this until next time t 978 out of here Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos.